Hey, welcome to Gridiron Football, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Vaporjet 6.0s. Um, my first impression of these gloves is I'm actually very happy. Um, I was unexpecting when I went to go pick these up at Dick's that they had padding on the wrist. And I thought that was a really cool feature because you know if you're a receiver or tight end or anyone getting covered for a pass is... People are going to be smacking your wrist trying to knock the ball out of your hands. And I think it's really cool that you have protection there. Um, I got it. I got the colorway. It's black and white with a maroon undertone on the Nike swoosh. And I think these look really clean and nice. Normally, I personally go for Nike or Adidas gloves. I don't really get cutters. I've never had a pair of cutters. And these pretty much compare to the Adidas gloves the exact same. I mean, they both have very good grip. They stick together. And that means they're going to stick to a football. Highly recommend these for any position that's going to be receiving the ball. Um, even corners and DBs. This is a good um, glove for you guys. And... The receiver grip goes all the way down to the wrist. So you don't have a wrist strap all the way around. You have the receiver grip, which is nice. So extra way to catch the ball. On the pinky, the grip wraps on the finger for extra grip. And it displays the word vapor because these are the vapor duds. And, um, yeah. Uh, the cuff stays on pretty good, the wrist strap. And my first impression... I really like these gloves. I can't wait to test them out and use them. I got these for the off season because they're non padded, and because I play linebacker in the end, so I like a more padded glove normally. But I'm training to play some tight end too, so you know, uh, I would I want to train with receiver gloves, straight receiver gloves, and these are perfect for that. Highly recommend picking these up. They're not too bad of a price either. They're $45 at Dick's. And they come in all sorts of sizes and youth too. I personally wear a men's medium in gloves. My hands aren't too big. They're not tiny, but you get my drift. Uh, my rating stickiness, I'd say, is a 8 out of 10. It's very sticky. And the stick... Feels like it's gonna stay on there for a while. It's not gonna wear out quick. Um, obviously, it's gonna wear out if you're on the line a lot or hitting people a lot. So just know that it's not gonna guarantee stay unless you're like a full receiver or DB. Then you're probably gonna have the grip on there longer than any other position. Uh, padding. It, this is a pretty solid glove. Like you're not gonna get really beat up with this has some tough material, but it's also very flexible. I think it's a neoprene, and it feels soft and comfy. I will say, when Travis Glove on, the inside feels like a very soft cushion. It feels amazing, and I really like that. Um, this is a great glove. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, and I also told you about the padding here. I love this feature. So the padding for a full receiver glove, I'd probably say on a scale of 110, this is probably a 9 out of 10 for a receiver glove padded. That's not like a super bad, like how it's padded on the back completely. I mean like a glove that's full receiver, lightweight, and it still has padding. It's very good. Um, and overall, these are very lightweight gloves. Uh, I don't think they're heavy at all. And I really like the feel. I'm just going to try one on to show you what it looks like on hand. I haven't took these out of the package, package yet. And they fit on pretty comfortably. And yes. Put the wrist strap on and they fit great. Um, great get a great grip on the ball. Um, and overall, 
I really like these gloves. I can't wait to use them. Obviously, they need broken in. I think Adidas gloves don't have to be broken as much than Nike gloves because Nike gloves are normally tougher. And yeah, I highly recommend these gloves. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And comment if you want any other product reviews. Um, I probably will be doing another glove review soon for the gloves I used last season. And yeah, thanks for watching.